don't give me no gun, man. You know, you know what I'm going to do. Oh man, so by now y'all done seen John Moran was on IG Live wilding again, once again with a fire in his hand. His homeboy mistakenly caught him on camera. It was purposely for John, but his homie mistakenly caught him on camera as soon as he realized he tried to hear behind the phone. But by that time, the damage was already done. Since then, a lot of people have been talking about the situation. Since then, we got an actual crip speaking on John Moran. That's Brit Baby. Now, Brit Baby's comments traveled all the way to Shannon Sharp and Keyshawn Johnson, and they both spoke about it on their respective shows. So what I'm going to do is show you guys two separate videos that Shannon Sharp and Keyshawn Johnson reacted to. First Keyshawn, then Shannon. Make sure you hold tight and we'll come back with some commentary towards the end of the video. How do you feel about him, you know, allegedly throwing up Crip multiple times? I don't think so. Run it in. You know what's up. He ain't fucking with the gangland like that. You throwing them ends up, that's going to cost you, nigga. That's what I was going to say anyway. I, nigga, that's going to cost you anyway. What you want to do? Pay the crips for the rest of your life? Because that's going to cost you. You get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never been to the 60s, nigga. You keep throwing up ends and all that shit when you in throwing up seeds and all that, nigga. You ain't even from this shit. You ain't even from this shit. No way, shape, or form. Like, when you get put on in Memphis, dead homies. Like, come on, let's be real, cuz. Like, 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 start being real with yourself. You a basketball player, cuz. You wanna come step into this field, we can show you a whole lot about this shit. Matter of fact, set up a meeting for me and John Morant, since he wanna be a crip. Oh, um, sick, so I bet you he don't never show up. And it's on some friendly shit. I don't got no beef with you, John. I just, you like the face of, like, the NBA. You like the new face of the NBA, and you with this, you 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 claim you a part of the culture, man. Be the positive side of the culture, like you been been. You you don't got no felonies. You didn't grow up fucking shit up and all that. You might have smoked some weed or whatever the case is, but come pull up on me. Uh, look, we gonna hang out this summer on the off season. Since you wanna be with this dead homies, I bet you you don't be picking up my phone and all that because our regular life. Our regular everyday life, you're going to be scared of. And then you're going to be thinking that we putting you in the middle of that. But we just coming to kick it and all that. Like, you're going to see all this aggression. And you're going to see how we really act. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this is just us being normal. No problems or nothing. You're not going to want to be a part of that. So stop acting like that's what you want to be a part of. When the phase get issued out, when the ops come slide, are you really, do you really want to be a part of this? With 200 million? Let me know something. Like, nigga, stop throwing that shit up. Like, nigga, don't f with you. Draymond give back to the community. So it's like, with Draymond do it, like, hey, man, all right, hey, you shouting this out in a positive way because you over here giving, you you give backpacks, you give food. Nigga, we ain't never, our kids ain't never benefited off of John Morant. What is you throwing that shit up on the, like, come on, bro. You get what I'm saying? And then you throwing up 60s and you kicking it with, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's your who who who's your end? Quando Rondo? <laughs> who do you know over here? Come on, my boy. I just saw a video that some some gang members here in Los Angeles don't appreciate Jaws behavior. You see what I'm saying? So okay. now you got them involved. Now they talking on a video stream live about his his behavior and disrespect and throwing up the gang signs and he ain't got nothing to do with that gang. He don't even know where that's at. Trust me. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak on the gang or the, the, uh, who it is, but he doesn't know them people one bit. Trust me, I'm from here, and and so they mad and agitated at him now. So he done escalated even more issues for himself. Right. You know, it's like they got to get a hold of him, man. They got to get a hold of him. Real quick. Ja. Ja, come on, Ja, cuz. On the dead, homies, listen. I just was pleading to you to stop gang banging, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. You is one in a million. You made it out. Even if you didn't come from whatever, you made it against all the shit against black people, man. On the dead, homies, another pistol? Uh, not another pistol, like, cuz. Come to LA and come holler at me, cuz no no beefing, no nothing, bro. I wanna have a sit down with John Morant, cuz I want John Morant really to thug with us for like a week. I ain't gonna take you around nothing that'll get shot up or nothing, bro. Because on 6 so you finna be out here trying to get bags from 
in a second, you're gonna be out here spending your last million on a thousand bags in one second. Cause come out here and see what it's like to be day to day, have a hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying? Have twenty thousand fall off, jump back, nigga, and really be in this field, bro. Come on, cut them guns ain't that important, cuz I'm sick, so if that bitch got you geeked up like that, man, throw that shit in the trash. I ain't gonna lie, the little nigga hot. But come on, cuz, you can't get geeked off music like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't beefing with that shit on this earth. You keep making the case, he's not about that. He he wants to look like it. Well, there's a dude, there was a crip from Memphis say, hey, y'all, you really about that life? Come hang yeah. with your boy on some good stuff. Hey, wait, hey, nothing, hey, and see what it's really like? To live. Yeah, like that. I think about that life skill. Yeah. Okay. You ain't you, somebody running up on you, you know, kicking in your door. Hey, come on, bro. That ain't that ain't no way to live. No. You yeah, you got 50 mil. Who in the hell wants to go back to the trenches of the mud when I skip I'm up here? Yeah. You do it, you did everything what you could to get from here to there. Yeah. And now that you're here, you know what? Hey, down that wasn't too bad. What? All right, so that's right there's what's going on now. Me, myself, personally, here goes my tape, man. I don't know what the hell is wrong with John Moran. That boy is tripping. It's like, dog, it's one thing. It's one thing to have a gun, and it's okay to have a gun. But if you've already realized you had a run-in a couple of months ago with a situation with waving your gun on IG Live inside of a club, why would you even think it's cool to do the same shit Different setting I'll be it, but why you even want to come near that same circumstance again, bro? Do you just not care or are you just that dumb? And I don't think you're that dumb, so why don't you care? So many people try to keep shit in shame and blame and focus off of everything but y'all. But at some damn time, you got to become a grown man. And yes, you are a young, young dude. But listen, with your responsibility, the things that's placed on your shoulders now, you need to hurry up and grow up faster than others. I'm sorry, you don't have the same grace as other men your age. There's so many people counting on you. Don't let them down. Shit, don't let your damn self down. But I can see how you just don't care that much to come back to back with the same damn mistake. You're stupid. You look stupid. And whatever punishment they gonna give you, they just might give it to you. Once again, don't conflate the issues with people that's coming and saying why he can't do what he's doing while having a gun. It's okay to have a gun. Yes, it's okay to have a gun. But if you're going to be the face of an organization as big as the NBA, which should be very, very family friendly, you can't be moving like a damn rapper. It's too, it's totally different target audiences. You can't be moving that way and then try to be the face of Nike in the future, selling signature, signature shoes to children. No bro you can't do that you can't do you can't be sitting here in a car waving your fire and then next thing we know you on the nba cares commercial talking to the children you can't do that bro but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though it's your boy stacy and i fought you and the reason why because you fought with me yay i'm out